Yay! Here we are. Here we are, finally. Finally, Saturday again. Jenny Owen says, Happy Saturday morning, Sue and everyone, with a nice coffee. Actually, I should have made myself a tea. I should have. That would have been delightful. So, hey everybody, and welcome back. My name is Sue, and I'm from OML Embroidery. And today, we're going to be working on block five of the witches. I want to call it an apothecary. So it's their drawers. I think there's a different word for what it actually is. There's drawers with different things in it. Like it's like a cabinet. It's really cute so far, for sure. Georgette says, good morning. Anne Dilbeck says, hi from Oklahoma. Lila, good morning. Chris Yost, yay. Karina, yay, good morning. Heading down to my sewing room, a girl. Susie says, good morning. Betty says, good morning. Good morning to everybody. Now, I, if you guys scroll back, you can see the report on Mr. Quilt. He's doing okay. Uh, not, you know, hugely better, but not worse in one way, but everything's good. So best wishes to um, Mr. Quilt. We're all thinking of you as usual. Do I spy new nails? Well, of course. I change them all the time. Isn't that groovy? So it's a sparkly pink with a deep, deep purple. And it's different designs on each hand because I like doing that. So we're groovy today. Groovy. I think I like this hand better. There we go. Yeah, I think I like it better. Cindy King. Good morning, Cindy King. We were just doing a nail check just to make sure they're beautiful. And yes, they are. I don't think it goes with anything today, but Ronog. Hi, Ronog. Hello, hello. Jude. Good morning, Sue and everyone from Miley. Oh, yeah, Miley, Miley. Hi, Miley. Are you being good? I hope so. You can listen, but don't do any stitching, Miley. So, okay, for very wet Southwest England. Ooh, Kim Wilson. Hmm. I used to live in England near Stonehenge on a military base. And it was the time of my life, I'm telling you, for sure. Very cool nails. Thank you, Jenny. Love, love, love. I know. It's what I do to relax. I pick colors that make me feel good. And it just, every time I look down, it makes me happy. And I've done it for a long, long time. So, and I do these designs myself. So in case that anyone's wondering, but I just, it makes me feel pretty. So just do it. Just do it. Okay. So three new mug rugs up on the website. And if you look at them nice and closely, there is a sparkle in it. So I used all uh, metallic thread, King Star Metallic. So look at this leaf. This leaf is stunning with the green metallic thread. I love it. Look at the pretty quilting in there too. So these two are a set because they go nicely. And I think I should make a bigger flower. So if you want it bigger, but you could have flowers and leaves or just a bunch of leaves. You could do it in fall colors. How about that? Doesn't have to be green. Um, you can do the flower in different colors. What I did is I picked one of the colors. Let's see if you guys can see it. Yes, you can. So I picked that out and then the green is right here. It's from an old layer cake and I don't have much of it left anymore. And then uh, I used that and this is the HTV Sparkle stuff. And I used that, pulled those colors out of it, and then pulled this green out of it, if you could see how well it matches. So they are meant to go together. So imagine this in, you know, pink or something like this. And this, you could do a set of leaves in orange or red or burgundy, something like that. So super. Now this is by far my most favorite mug rug to date. It is. It really is. So look at the edges. I know I didn't take off the water soluble stabilizer yet, but I will. Look at the edges. I think that is amazing and I'm going to use it a lot more. 
I live near Chat. Kim Wilson. Sorry, I just looked up. I live near Chatham and Kent. Well, we live in Chatham, Kent too, Lynn and I. That's awesome. Judy Quilt says, love those edges. Well, this is gold metallic. Now, it doesn't really show up as much as I would like being metallic. And I chose the dark purple, so it kind of looks regal. This is gold and this is gold. So lots of chances to change colors. There's an overlay on this heart. I think the overlay would look great in gold. Different colored hearts. This is red, it looks like. But this is by far my favorite mug rug. I really like it. And you know what? If I had put, changed the bobbin thread, the back of it, the back of it would be perfect. But I didn't because I never do. I never do. So yeah, perfect use for metallic thread. King Star Metallic. Uh, I was really happy when I stitched it out. I did a little silly happy dance and uh, said, yes, that's it. Okay. The edging is so elegant with the metallic thread. So I'm here to tell you guys, get shopping, get sharing. I'm almost at the end here. The website made $500 in the whole entire month of July. So if you don't have money to spend, that's fine. Pass the videos around, like it. I can make more money off of YouTube and, you know, I can do more free stuff, whatever, but it has to kick up because I don't know about you guys, but I can't live on $500 a month. So I'm trying really hard to make improvements and do stuff that you guys want, but here's your homework. I want you guys to sit and think about something that you think would be a big seller, something that everybody would love. And um, put it in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, and I'll try. And whoever wins, whoever makes it, you know, sells, say, 100, I will give them uh, some very special prizes. So do you think you guys can do that? Give me a yes on the chat, which to me is right there. <laughs> and uh, let's see if we can keep this rolling. I really, really want to. The production is out, so I get nothing from that. All the machines are broken, which is just delightful. So even if I did get it going, it'd be $1,000 to fix the machines. Actually, I think my second 10 needle, I don't think it's fixable. So yeah, it all kind of sucks and I need your help. So let's do it. Now on to today, today's block for the witch's apothecary. Um, this is really cool. So it's a, one part is a door and it has a really nice little fussy cut part. And I'm going to use these spiders to try to fussy cut it. So let's see. And this I thought would do the door. And then I'm just going to put a silver on it. Oop, let me pull the camera back so you can see what I'm talking about. Because I have all my colors and everything going on here. This is going to be the tentacle because I thought that would be cool. Yes, Lynn, the pink is for you. The pink is for you. These are eyeball colors. And I thought for the um, containers, I'm going to use metallic silver. So today I'm not going to use the plastic. I have it, but not everybody does. So I'm going to see how well this looks and if it's a good, you know, change sort of thing. So yes, yes. So, so far, so good. So these are the squares. I thought I'd add a little bit of flare in it. Can you see? These are, it's wood and then it's got a gold leaf all over them. Um, I think it would be a really good, really good. So that's what I thought. I might change my mind on that and pull the tulip pink. So not necessarily green, but this already has the reason why I'm not. Is this already has the wood design on it. So I wouldn't want to, um, you know, put it on there second time, but once we get there, or Halloween, 
fabric. I don't know, either way. So yes, guys, come on. I need you guys to go for it. Share, get more people to watch, get more people to join. And then you know what? If we do that, and I'm not looking to be rich or anything, I just have to be able to maintain my home and eat, you know, that's kind of an important thing. And if we could do that off of YouTube, then that is going to be even better for you guys. So it's worth the effort and I want to keep this um, happening. Jill, hello everyone. I don't know what happened, but it took me 12 minutes to sign in. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You should have some coffee and relax because you're here and we're going to stitch something beautiful. For those who are just signing in, especially Jill, look, three new mug rugs coming in. Isn't that awesome? They're beautiful. This is my favorite one so far. Look at the edging on that baby. Isn't that wonderful? So that's new on the website. So far, everything's working pretty well on the website. I'm happy with it. It's a lot better. It's a lot easier. And we did a nail check. We did a nail check. We'll just do a second nail check because, you know, it happens. There we go. Fabric for today. Let's head on over to the machine and we can see where we're at because of course I started a little bit I just tripped over a thread and I have no idea where it's coming from oh my goodness it's under my chair yeah hands up if that's happened to you oh my goodness oh and it's metallic thread too goodness okay I got it I got it there we go I just don't want to pull it. So yeah, hands up. Has that happened to you guys before? You get it stuck? <laughs> Sue would like to pay you for help with block four. Are you interested in private lessons? Yeah, I can do that for sure. Um, that That's easy. I'm actually, I haven't done mine, but I'm going to do a video on it. Just like a, you know, a timed one that I used to do. Okay. So, yes, if you need help, I am here to help. For sure. So, here we are at the machine. I just shook the camera. I've put the batting down. I thought I'd get that part started. And the way that this works out is we're going to do this square and this square and finish everything inside it. Finish everything inside it and then do the door and then do the outside. So... I mean, it's nice order. Usually I like to get all the applique done at once, but you know what? I'm up for changes. It's okay. It's okay. So let's see where we're at. Yes. So we are going to start with the applique there and I'm going to try to fussy cut my, my just, you know, off the shelf fussy cutting to see. Now I'm using black thread so you guys can really, really, um, see it well but try to use you know a more subtle color so I think I'll start off with the darker one now there's a little space here let me zoom you guys in there's a little space here and don't worry that's actually supposed to be there that is the width of our sashing so don't worry about that you didn't do anything <coughs> excuse me you didn't do anything wrong there. It's just the way it's going to be. So, all right. So I want the wood going up and down. I'll pull this back so you guys can see the wood going up and down. And I'm going to try for this leaf. So what I do just, it's not perfection, but it seems to work. I put my finger in the middle of it. And then you could mark where the middle of the square is then I do that. So it, it, again, it's not perfect, but I usually come pretty close to making it fit. So I'm going to make sure it's straight, although, you know, it's the witch's apothecary. It could be, it could be, uh, you know, a little off. Oh, thank you, Jill. Much appreciated. I'm glad you managed to sign in too. So, okay. See, not bad. Look at not bad guys I'll show you on the desk cam in a sec so you can see it better now I'm gonna go ahead and trim so we need to go to our desk for that because I never trim at my machine 
Never, never. So once I cut this, you guys will be able to see my little tulip pink nom noms. Nom nom nom. I like these ones just as much as I like the bigger ones. And you don't have to worry about a seam allowance. Why? Because we have a sashing. So the sashing is going to be our seam allowance. So we don't need to worry about that. So look, I did the leaf pretty well. It's, it's kind of a fast and dirty way to fussy cut, but I usually find that it's good enough, if that makes any sense. Good enough. Um, love Sue Brown, Jenny Owens. Thank you. Thank you. Look, it's almost perfect. Almost. Okay, now we are going to start with the tentacle in nice bright colors. Thank you very much. So back, yes, we are back. So maybe if I zoom in, you guys can see that a bit better. And you can look so you could see where the leaf is. Not that much better, but yeah. So thank you guys. Thank you. I appreciate every, every little bit. Clips that hang on book bags. Hmm. That's a good idea for sure. Now I'm going to change the color. Oh, so I forgot to tell you guys my routine here. So I am doing the six by six size. Um, batting is just regular batting. I think this stuff is warm and natural. I am actually going to run out of it soon. So then I'll be able to tell you what kind it is. There we go. So I'm just threading and I'm going to do this part of the tentacle in purple. So purple and pink, pretty sure I did the house monster, those colors. And I'm using the no Show mesh cutaway, 7511 needle, because I don't change it. Okay, I changed the needle, but I don't change the side, the size. The speed of the machine is always the same. It is smart enough to know. So yes. Your support means the world to Sue. Oh, it does. I'm struggling so much. But this is what I really, really want to do. So I want to make sure it happens. And if we can kick it up a little bit, I'm, I'm good. Beth, thank you very much. So the purple, I kind of like it. Next is hot pink, Lynn. Next is hot pink. I don't know what I'd do without Saturday embroidery fun. I think I'd die of boredom, maybe. Maybe. It's possible. Because, that you know, we all have um, Karina's cinnamon rolls. Ha ha. Uh, yeah, and it's fun. This is, this is one day, I guess, I look forward to. It's always fun. And especially doing fun things like this, it's so enjoyable. But thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. For some reason, all of the watch time and viewers and the whole bit has gone down on YouTube, and I'm not really sure why. It's kind of weird. It is always a blessing to have a job doing what you enjoy. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, I tried to get patches back, but it is... Um, It's not going to happen. I can't do it. So right now it's costing me more to have the website up than what I can make. So Chris Yost, thank you very much. Buy a coffee. Oh, yeah. I like that. What are, is that a pear or an avocado? I have no idea. Um, oh, Cindy King, what a great idea. I will tell you guys that right from the beginning, Cindy King has donated every month every single month for years so i appreciate that cindy i always say thank you um and I, it's really wonderful so cindy king says i challenge you all to consider doing a monthly donation on a regular basis i know everyone here has groups they support but maybe consider oml as one of your regular donations that would be incredible on the new website, there is a form that you can do it, kind of like a subscription, and you can 
automatically donate from, I think, PayPal or whatever every month. So you don't even have to think about it. And that would be awesome. And then I could be a little more secure. So thank you, Cindy King, as always. I always feel like I don't say enough thank yous to Cindy King because uh, her support has been unwavering. Unwavering. Which is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It makes me smile every month that I see it. And it gives me inspiration to keep going and keep doing better and better stuff every day. Which is cool. I like that. I like that. So, Cindy King, yes, you're my number one. Ooh, I could have zoomed in. Look at how that purple stands out. Oh, I love it. So, are we ready for neon pink? All the pink people in the group who are watching, you guys will love this color. I have the Madeira one. I think I gave Lynn some of my smaller ones. Look at this. Ooh, it's so bright. It's so bright. And I think it's going to look spectacular with the purple. Now, it's going to be the brightest thing on there other than the fussy cut part for the door. So it's going to draw your eye to it. And I think that's good in this part. Oh, yeah, Bob and Police. Bob and Police. I had like half a bo Bob and so... Everyone loves pink. Ronog, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. And like I said, I'm not buying a boat or, you know, whatever. I'm just existing. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'll zoom in for you guys. Oh, I clapped my hands. I know you guys can't see that. It's awesome. Um, Cindy King, yes. I make a small support because OML is so educational and fun for all of us. Which, again, I really appreciate it. And look how far Cindy King has come. We're all still very proud of you for winning, you know, $10,000 <laughs> worth of machines and threads and everything. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's still amazing. You'll have to let me know, Cindy King, um, if you've used the, the the machine that you got, I'd like to know what you think of it, because it's 100% different than your commercial machines. So, yes. We love you and are always happy to see you here with us, Ronog. Yes! Ronog does the best coloring. She, she does stuff that I can't think so. Think of. So, can you guys see this pink? Yes. That is incredible. So that was for you, Lynn. Okay, so now we are going to do the reflection. Oh, I love it. I love it. So I, the reflection of the bottle, and remember, even though I have the plasticky stuff, I'm not actually going to use it today because you have to skip a couple of steps, and I wanted to show you guys what stuff you have to uh, change. So there we go. Look, Ooh, Silva. I love metallic thread. Um, they're getting so many colors, Kingstar. I love it. I love it. So I'm hoping the silver will make it look like there is plastic on it. It's a really good effect though, using that plastic. I think it's really cool. Um, but just not everybody has it and it may be hard to find. So, yeah. So this is the reflections on the bottle. This is before you put the plastic on. So I wondered, why is it just a tentacle? Where's the rest of it? That's what I want to know. It's probably at the, ha the haunted house still. So I'll zoom in there so you guys can see. Oh, yeah, that shows up beautifully. That might work. That might work for sure. So the hot pink is Madeira, and it's $15.96. So it's Madeira, and I just have a little bit of it, but this goes a long way. You can get bigger spools of it. So, uh, yeah, that's what it is, and it is the brightest I think I've seen. Although, you know, Exquisite Thread has some pretty good stuff. 
So, yes, loving the pink and purple. Yeah, I wanted it to be bright. And I have succeeded. So, I think the silver for the reflections is handy. So, the next step that I'm seeing is the applique for the outside of the bottle. It is for using the plastic. Now, I'm not going to do that today. So... I am going to skip it. That's all you have to do is skip it. If you stitch it by accident, it really isn't a problem. So there's placement, there's tack down, so skip one, skip two, and the last step is we are doing the satin stitches on the outside. We don't have anything to, you know, sew, sew it in, but that's okay. It's still gonna look good. But if you go ahead and stitch out those two, it, it won't matter because it'll be underneath the satin stitches in the cauldron. Oh, good answer. Oh, yes. Sue has brought me out of my commercial box. I've been covered up at work. I haven't gotten to play with this new machine. It does look pretty all set up in my home studio. That's okay. You will have time, Cindy, and I'm very interested to know what you think because it's so different. Um, for sure. Irene, oh, thank you very much. You are amazing. Oh, I couldn't do any of it without you guys. So consider that. It, it only works because you guys do. How did you guys enjoy the digitizing on Mug Rug Monday? Let me know about that too. I use a lot of Madeira. It's available locally. Sometimes it's just easier to get, but I do have most of the Kingstar and they're definitely worth the exchange and the shipping. I agree 100% on that. Kingstar Metallic is worth everything you got, um, which is fine. Karina, yes. Oh, Karina has company, her daughter. Yeah, so away, so away. That's okay, Karina. We know you love us, for sure. Have fun with your daughter, for sure. Will you make a video showing off your studio? Yes, yeah, doesn't Cindy King make the best? I call them commercials because she does them way better than I do. Way better, way better. So yeah, for sure. But Cindy, you will get time to play with your new machine. It's just gonna take, uh, you know, a little bit of time for you, but you'll make time and I think you'll be quite happy with it. So I'm gonna take off the silver and I'm gonna pull it um, a little back so you guys can really see the effect of it. So doesn't that look good? So that's silver metallic instead of using the plastic. I think it gives almost exactly the same kind of effect to it. So now we have, we have a little bit of slime. So I'm gonna do this for slime. And it is Exquisite Thread ES32. And I do believe it is neon green, which is awesome. We gotta love the neon colors, but I feel slime has to be green. You can do it purple or pink, Lynn. Pink for most of it, but I'm gonna do green. And I have a lot of different colors for the eyeballs too. I think that's the coolest thing for sure. Carol says, what is our new machine? It's a brother PRS 100, the single needle that looks like the bigger machines. It's not a flatbed. So yes, it's cool. Jill says, I had to watch the video on digitizing to catch up, but yet to see it to the end. I haven't used my machine for six months. Health problems. Oh, Jill, I hope you get better soon for sure yeah look at that green that is the greenest green that ever greened i think now what is going to be in this apothecary bottle i don't know it's not pink it could be sparkly though jan oh thank you very much thank you very much uh much appreciated so silver for what's in the bottom of it I think that might look cool. I'm going to do that. I don't know how good it'll look. Let's try. Let's try. 
So thanks everybody for the donations. I do appreciate it. YouTube is really good. They don't take any money off, which is super nice. Um, but I do have to wait a month to get it. So just saying that's the way they do it. So yeah, I used it on block one. Yes. So this is going to be a magic potion in here. And I think it's going to be great. I shall zoom. Oh, how about I thread the needle? What do you guys think? I did? There we go. I thought it was going to pop out. Ooh, so a sparkly potion. Um, Aaron says, I did find digitizing pretty interesting. I have three different programs for digitizing and I can't keep, keep up with the upgrades on all of them. Yeah, it can be a little expensive doing it that way for sure. Um, Jenny says, I have Madeira and Sulky, but since I've been watching Sue Brown using exquisite threads, I now have a drawer full. All right, I love to hear that. I'm actually, I've got a ton of Floriani thread and I have, you know, military cop colors of Madeira because that's what the other machines liked and it was just easier at the time. So we've stuck with it for, or I've stuck with it for 20 years. Um, but I find with the uh, exquisite thread, I can always find the perfect color. And I like that. That actually makes me really happy to have the perfect color. So I'm just leaving my silver on. It might blend a little too much, but it might look good. I like it. Isabel, thank you for joining us. It's okay, you can be late. We appreciate that you're here. So, which is awesome. So between the hot pink and the silver sparkle, I think that's going to work just fine. Just fine. And then, once this is done, we're gonna do the second one, which has some cool eyeballs in it. So again, if you don't have the plastic that you need, so if you buy like bedding, like a comforter set, the packaging is the proper thickness of it. So if you're not using it, like I'm not today, simply skip. So one, two, so placement and tack down. And then you go to the satin stitches. If you stitch them out anyways, if you don't want to, um, you know, go forward or whatever, if you just want to stitch it, that's fine too, because it's gonna be hidden underneath all of these beautiful satin stitches. So this looks very interesting. How does Exquisite do at high speeds? It's on a multi-needle. I have zero problems. Ragnar um, stitches it out and he has no problems. So no problems at all whatsoever. I, I love the colors. And the thing that got my attention the best about the Exquisite thread is the um, packs of them. So I honestly, <laughs> long time ago, a little while ago, I bought all of the um, variegated thread and the three threads that make up the color. And I find that so enjoyable. I really do, but they have like shades of blue, shades of red, and it's just really beautiful to use. So we're doing the lid now of the small one. See, that worked out, that's not bad. So I'm gonna take the silver off and I am going to do like a black. I wanna show you guys the, um, nice kind of gross color I picked for the eyeballs. So this is just regular black, any brand, you know, whatevs. It is uh, good enough. I think this is actually super punch because it's uh, not too expensive here. Sorry about my hands in the way. I didn't turn the camera back. There we go. So this is the lid. I've seen a lot of interest in digitizing traditional applique patterns. Okay, that's good. That's something to think about. 
So obviously this one doesn't have a lid because the tentacle is coming out. Um, but this one does because I don't think we want to let that sparkly potion out. Yes, I'm a pack buyer for threads. I have to go to the U.S. in a couple months and I might order and pick up there so it's not crazy shipping charges. Yeah, that's a big help for sure. That's a big help if you can do that. Super Punch has great stabilizers. Yeah, and it's a Canadian company too. And I know they have them on He, Johnny is his name. He has them on um, Amazon.com as well as Amazon.ca. I still need to get the new Kingstar colors. Well, I'm telling you, they're beautiful. That's all. Just beautiful. Okay, well, I'm not going to fussy cut this one, so then I'll be frugal. Frugal or fussy cut, that's how it works. Uh, but this one will probably just work out naturally. Yeah, it will. So, there we go. No applique chicken today, please. So, just stitch it down. Two different pieces of wood. It's probably too pretty for a witch's cabinet, but I kind of like it. Ooh! Well, I guess I won't be trimming that part. That was perfect and an almost perfect fussy cut. Phew, okay. That was unnecessarily close. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? Back to the desk and uh, we're gonna do a little trim. So you can see how close I got on the edge there. Pay attention, pay attention. So I'm going to cut this. These are um, a fall charm square set, by the way. If I can use pre-cuts, I'm all about that. I think it makes it a lot easier just to pull the colors and, you know, that you want sort of thing. Especially I found the pre-cut solids are just absolutely wonderful. So this color right here. Now it might be hard for you guys to see. It's silver thread, just regular thread. It's exquisite 1707, but it has a slight green tinge on it. And I thought that would be because I don't, I wouldn't do the eyeballs white because they're just eyeballs, you know, but green See, if you turn it a certain way, I can see it more than you guys can. And I thought that would be absolutely perfect for the white parts of the eyebrows. Eyebrows. Eyeballs. <laughs> so Isabel says, you win. Yeah, it was unintentional, though. I didn't really want to risk anything on this because I like it so much. But that's okay. I did win. So now I'm going to put this kind of weird kind of gray if you look at gray colors of thread and for fabric you'll find that the grays are gray green or green blue and if you can find it like just like a tinge like this it's okay so it's gonna look better in person i'll see if i can um i'll see if i can zoom in on it with the camera like photography and lights and see if you guys can pick up the green yeah i just wanted something icky you know icky for sure i have to get some googly eyes for my applique scissors it just looks happy yes nancy that's why i do it you know why because it makes me happy it was an accidental nom nom it was accidental one of them fell on my bigger ones and I thought oh hey that's funny so I just put it on all of them now so duck bills turn into a nom nom I saw someone added googly eyes on the eyeball block yeah why not googly eyes can go everywhere oh yeah that is an awesome green gray green just exactly what I would expect for an eyeball Perfect. Perfect. So it's going to take a few minutes for this to stitch out, but I'm using the neon colors for the eyeball colors because I can. 
Nobody said they're from people. They're from creatures. So I've got the hot pink. I've got the green. I've got blue. So it's going to be good. I just got the new Kingstar thread colors. Gorgeous. Marjorie, that's awesome. I know they really are gorgeous. I, I'm still, it's been years, but I am still so happy to have metallic thread that we can actually use. Um, you know, I love it. It's amazing how the small things make embroiderers so happy. I know, I know. <laughs> Irene says, received my King, King Star thread order yesterday. My granddaughters were laughing at my happy dance. Yes, I'm glad to know there's someone else who does a happy dance when something amazing happens. Because I sure do, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, metallic thread will always make me happy. Variegated thread will always make me happy. I love that stuff. Ooh, I'm going to do some more designing for variegated thread. Because I like it so much and there's not enough opportunity, I guess, to use it. So I will be doing oh and by the way i'm still working on shadow boxes i had to walk away from a couple of them because i could not get it the way i wanted for whatever reason so the one i'm going to be working on today and hopefully can make it how i want is the niagara falls one and my issue is doing the water coming down and then the spray, the steam, the, you know, particles that come up. I can't get it to look like, you know, what it looks like. To me, it looks like um, a tornado or something and I can't have that because that doesn't work. So I, I tried for like a week and a half and then I absolutely gave up. So not gave up, but sometimes if you get frustrated even a little bit just walk away so that's what i did but i think i'm ready to get back at it i have a couple of ideas that might make it look really good the shadow boxes take forever to design but i love them i love them i'm really happy with how they look in the end and all the colors and oh it's just delightful and it's a nice collection to have. I have most of mine sewn together, the ones that I've done. There's a couple more that I'm working on. Uh, that we've got 117 people watching. Hua. So can you guys see the kind of green tinge on the silver? It's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. I thought about doing sparkles, like metallic thread, not the silver, because that's the bottles, but metallic thread for in here, but I thought it would make it too bright. So I love the ideas for variegated thread. I've done a couple. Uh, it takes a little bit to plan out because, you know, you want to make it so it, um, it showcases the variegated because I think if you do satin stitches it just comes out as stripes and I mean that's okay there's nothing wrong with that but I like to do a little bit more you know the quilting uh, really works the, the fancy quilting that I do it really works and looks great um, Susan Williams says oh great sounds good can't wait to see it. Yes, I've learned sometimes you need to walk away for a bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Basically, if you're not having fun doing the embroidery or digitizing, then just take a break. Take a break. There's no point getting mad at it. It's not going to stitch or design itself, even if you're mad, right? So walk away, do something else that you do enjoy with embroidery or watch some TV, give your brain a break, something like that, or draw. What I do is um, draw different ideas. Now I do draw on my iPad, but 
There is nothing wrong with good old paper and pencil that you can erase. So I tend to do both. Um, one day I want to get, eventually, it's from uh, Wacom, uh, which I have the Cintiq, but it's a pad and you can put paper on it and you can draw on paper and it turns it into digital and sends it to your computer or your iPad or whatever you're doing. And I think that is just like the perfect answer. I, I love it, but it's not cheap and it's not going to happen right now, but it's in my mind that that would be very helpful. But my iPad, I have an iPad Pro and the pen and it really looks good. I'm actually taking a class, a drawing class. Uh, which I'm finding is really good, really good. Um, there's a lot of different drawing programs. You just got to find the one that you like and uh, learn how to use it if you want to draw. I like to sit and doodle while I'm watching a, a movie or something like that. I very rarely sit and actually watch it. Look, our eyeballs are almost done. They're getting there. This is going to be my favorite little block. Sounds like magic, Sue. I know, right? I know exactly what you're talking about, too, Jill. The uh, Wacom tablet thingy, whatever. I think it's called paper, Wacom paper. Anyways, it would be cool. Because I do like drawing on paper and, you know, I have a whole bunch of stencils and rulers that do stuff because I like to have, like, you know, if I'm designing a mug rug, I like to have a um, perfect circle so I can balance everything out. So, I mean, you can do that on an iPad, kind of. Okay, so super happy with my dead eye color. And I think that worked out really well. Again, it's 1707. And yeah, you can see it a bit there. Yeah, a little bit there. Uh, Jenny Owens, let's do it. A hundred is in the is the goal. Okay, I don't have that. I can't see it, but that's okay. Pull the camera back so you don't have a nice close up view of my hands. That's okay. Thread super fast threader. There we go. So yes, there is homework. I said it at the beginning of the video. So. If you guys missed that, I am telling you what your homework is. So I want you guys to come up with an idea that I can create something that you think will be really popular. So I would like to, you know, design something that will get everyone's attention. And I haven't come up with the answer yet, so you guys put your thinking caps on and give me suggestions, and I'll start. Ooh, look at the green. Look at the green. Oh, I love it. I love it. Jack guy. If you don't know who he is, don't worry about it. But he's made a gazillion millions and millions of dollars on YouTube playing video games, and he's a wonderful person. And I have a picture of him with one of my patches that just, oh, I just love it. It's on Facebook if you guys ever want to see it. My kids went to see him in Toronto. And oh, as a good mom, I gave up my seats so they could get more expensive ones. And they ended up getting VIP seats. So they actually got to meet him and I was so jealous. But... Live vicariously through your children, right? So I did, and it was wonderful. So, yeah. Yeah. He's just a good guy. That's all. Okay, so I love the green. We're going to do blue. These may or may not be human eyes. I don't know. Um, add these ideas to our OML Facebook page, the group you mean, I think, and... And list under the post I created. Oh, thank you, Judy Quilt. You are on top of anything, man. That's everything. I appreciate it. This will be a fun chain of responses. So it will be, actually. And just so not necessarily what you would like to see, but what you think other people would like. 
And it's actually way more difficult than you think it is. Because I haven't come up with something um, since the machine embroidery paper piecing line. The first one only. So, yeah. Yeah. Which is awesome. Cool. Tom actually talks to him almost every week. No, I'm not kidding. Talks to Jack Septicai, are you saying? Because I would, I would fangirl like crazy if that's what you mean, but it might not be. Ooh, I love the blue. That's a pretty blue. So those might be human. I don't know. I don't know. It's awesome. So how are we doing? Current viewers, awesome. I love it, you guys. I love the blue. Next is purple. I'm not sure if anybody actually has purple eyes, but you know, it could be, it could be anything. Some creature, some creature. Uh, I think Karina is sewing shirts for her daughter, but she is obviously listening, which is awesome. Thank you, Karina. And we love to see how your shirts turn out. She is like a, an amazing sewist. Sewist? I like that word. So purple. Let's bring that purple in. And yes, I am doing hot pink eyeballs. Just in case Lynn was wondering what's going on. So this is the purple ones. Sorry, close up. Susie, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Judy Quilt, I appreciate... Well, I appreciate all the mods. For sure. Judy Quilt just thinks of it first, I think. I also miss Misha. I I wish she would come back soon. She will. But yeah. Yeah. That Targaryen girl has purple eyes and so does Yennefer. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, wow. Nancy says I'm embroidering 60 shirts and 30 hats for a convention. I need to come here for a break. No kidding. No kidding. Well, now that I have some of my big machines up here, that's what I like to do. I have um, the Hoopmaster for Brother, uh, which is worth every single penny if you do shirts. It makes them super easy to do and they're perfect and perfectly the same every time if you do it right. And I just love it. And I was doing shirts. I do the shirts for hospice for them, whatever the nurses and staff or whatever, whatever they want the logo on. I have permission to do it and I just, I just do it instead of making them pay a whole bunch of money or whatever they just bring in their favorite scrubs or shirt or whatever and I just put the logo on it um, we've been doing that for a while and they love it it makes them happy Nancy says I think I want a hoop master yes ma'am you absolutely do uh, I don't like doing hats either oh my god Karina He's friends with Jack Septicai? No way. Bee's upstairs listening, and I bet you she's just jumping at that. How did that happen? Karina, you're going to have to, when you're done all your work, you're going to have to talk to me about this. So, because that's very exciting. We love Jack Septicai here. Sean. Sean. We watched, the girls have always watched him, and they got me into watching him, and he is just. A good guy. He's very humble. He's um, really giving. And it's wonderful to see that as an example for everyone. So it's nice. And wow. Wow. No, I'm not going to get over that, Karina. Ever. Like, ever. Ever. Hope Misha is doing well. I think she is doing just fine. She's just kind of... Um, moving and can't have her machine out so yes there's so many embroidery tools and software that my christmas list is about 10 pages long 
yeah, I guess my Christmases will be a bit different, but I'm okay with that. I just get the stuff that I want. But if you're doing shirts, um, it is amazing. The Hoop Master is amazing. Now, it's not cheap, but if you do shirts all the time, it is going to make your life so much easier. For sure. And it has all the sizes of hoops. For It's only for the multi-needle by the way. I should say that at first. Um, it's only for the multi-needle. So it fits those hoops perfectly. And it's a board at a nice angle. And you put... Let's see. You put it... There's measurements. So you put the shirt on figure out the numbers it's all really really easy to do and then um you put the bottom of the hoop in and then you put your underlay and there's little magnets that go down and then you put the top of the hoop in and it's all like controlled so you don't get it crooked it goes straight in and boom you're done that's seriously all there is to it. But I've had mine for years. It's very sturdy, very um, strong, and easy to use once you get the hang of it. There's nothing complicated about it. You just have your chart. So if you're doing a woman's shirt, it's C. You put the collar down to C, like you move it that way, and then the number, and it'll be perfect every time. So, yeah, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it for sure. If you want to know more, Nancy, just uh, let me know for sure. I do like a production line and the Hoop Master will help plus the magnetic hoops. Now the Hoop Master only fits the regular hoops for the machine, but a production line, absolutely. So if you're using, uh, say, f well, four by four, it should be four by four for left, left chest. Then you hoop master, you put it in, it's stitching. While that one is stitching, then you take the um, uh, next one and you hoop it and have it ready. And then you just keep going that way. It will speed up everything. Now I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna take my silver uh, and I'm gonna put, there's a little highlight on the eyeballs and I'm going to make it silver because it's going to make you wonder, are they real eyeballs? Are they from monsters? Can they see? That's the goal. You know, creepy. <laughs> there we go. My list isn't that long, but close. I have the regular hoops. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that's clear. You can't use any hoops on it. You have to use the regular ones that come with it. Oh yeah, I like that. That's awesome. So I'm going to finish up the container um, using the silver. And then there's just one part left. And that's pretty easy. It's applique. And then uh, the door hand. There's a bit of slime. And then the door handle. And then a little bit of fussy cutting. But you don't have to. I thought of the the part would um that you do the fussy cutting on the door if you did it black that would also look great uh awesome let's see i can understand my list okay yeah i read that <laughs> it runs like a top my only needle is down for repairs it blows breakers Ooh, you better find a better place to plug that in you don't want that happening you don't want it to damage. Yes, of course, it's okay, Cindy King. Thank you for asking. Anything you do is okay to post because we love it. I think I like the eyeballs the best. Yeah, I'm going to say me too. And look at how great. Should I zoom in? Probably. Look at how great the silver looks. It's different than the gooey green. But yeah, I love it. I love it. So, yeah, I love it. Santa would have to start training lifting weights to be in shape to deliver my Christmas list. I don't make a Christmas... Well, I did. I guess... I guess I won't get any exciting stuff, but I don't need it. I'm just happy to be happy. 
it's all good. And plus, I actually have everything I want and need. Um, Nancy, oh, I'd like to see that. Yeah, for sure, Cindy, post it. And uh, I'll remind everyone again to do your homework and put your thinking caps on and help me come up with something that's absolutely awesome. And I think that would be good. It could also be good for people who are making Christmas gifts. Oh yeah, for sure. It, it has like the bigger hoops. So if you're doing something on the back of a sweater or a sweatshirt or a hoodie or something, you can still use it. Silver is beautiful. Oh, wait, okay. See now, I just, I just did it. This is where we're gonna do the applique for the plastic and I just went ahead and stitched it. That's what I was telling you before. It doesn't matter if you do um, because it is gonna be covered up by the satin stitches. So I'm gonna skip the tack down and now we're gonna do the satin stitches. So that's all it takes, but this isn't gonna show. So it's not a problem because it is an applique, part of the applique. And if you think about it, if you were actually doing an applique, that line wouldn't show up anyways. So little zigzag stitch, uh, which really looks great in silver. Everything looks great in silver, man. That's awesome. So yes, if you haven't joined the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, Go ahead and join, answer the questions you'll be in. That's where all the planning and the help and the interests and hey Sue, would you sort of thing ideas happen. So that's a great place to be. It is a backup to the YouTube channel. So it's really wonderful. Cindy King, I have to jump out. Love all my OML gang. Ah, oh, we love you too, Cindy King. Cindy King. There we go. So, loving the silver. I like it even more than the plastic, I think. And yes, my the eyeballs, that is my favorite square ever. It's perfect. Isabel says, love the colors you picked for the eyes. Yes, they, um, I don't know which ones I like best, but the way they're arranged, they all look really good. Really good, for sure. So, yes, the OML Embroidery University Facebook group is the place to be. It is also a lot of fun. If you have questions, it is the place to go to ask them. Nobody will give you a hard time. Nobody will be rude. If you ask for an honest comment, people will do that. There's lots of inspiration and encouragement, and it's really fun really fun really really fun i try to make myself available as much as possible but if for some reason i'm not i i don't really do much else other than embroidery but you know you know um it's a lot of fun and the gang that's here is also there so yeah it's a a free place free thinking free you know, beginners are welcome. Beginner questions are welcome. Everything like that. So I know some places can be like groups, but by I mean places, they can be um, kind of mean. There's no mean in our group. It gets deleted, done. I don't even ask anyone. I just literally delete it because that that's not what we're here for. We're here to to help. I would like this eyeball jar in something bigger. I really like that. I really do like the eyes too. So this is the last of the detail. And as usual, when this is finished stitching, and I will finish it today, I'll post a picture up in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group. And uh, maybe on Sweet Pea, I should start doing that. Um, I think that would be really good to see 
all the stuff that we're doing. A nice way to get the OML embroidery gang out there. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm glad I kept silver for this. Beautiful. Beautiful. So the next step is the outline for the door, which isn't going to take too long. It's a cabinet door. So, and there's going to be secret stuff behind it. So the embroidery gang is an embroidery family. We're all about embroidery and we're all about being kind to one another and learning. That's the most important thing. Um, it's just learn, just be happy. I'm glad to hear that, Sue. You get the Facebook bullies who think they know everything no matter where you go. They are just plain annoying. Well, I don't know if you've ever noticed, Nancy, but they are not in our group. I Like, if anyone starts to get nasty, I just delete it. I just don't want to hear it. I don't think there's any need for anybody ever to be mean. And, you know, if you get a newbie trying to understand something, someone being mean isn't going to help them. So the witch has great taste in jars. Isn't that cool? Look at those eyeballs. I love it. So that's the silver metallic thread instead of the plastic. And you know what? I'm going to say the effect is just about the same. I like it. How did you choose the color for the eyes? Well, I went to the grays. Or you mean these? the bright colors or the background? The the background uh, of the eyeballs. I didn't want to do white. I wanted to do something gross. So I picked all grays have a hue of another color. So I picked a gray green and I just kind of used these colors that uh, are in except for the blue. I have blue eyes. So maybe I'm watching you in the blue eye right here. Maybe this one. That's me. Okay. So I just kind of picked the colors other than blue that I already had in the design. I could have done orange. That would have been nice too. But it brings everything together because this and this kind of, they look like they belong together. And maybe our witch is, you know, organized. You never know. But it just helps balance it out. So that's all I did to um to pick it lynn says it would be funny if you put the googly eyes in the jar apparently someone did that and i absolutely will i don't have any at this desk which is odd now this is what i'm going to use for the fussy cutting so i'm going to get one of these spider dudes in it uh hopefully i can use my scraps this is why i keep scraps like this it's almost as big as my hand and it's perfect because I have a perfect spider web there. So yes. Yay. We did it just in the nick of time. Awesome. You guys, that's fantastic. Linda says, nice choice, Sue. Thanks for another interesting embroidery Saturday. Yeah. Way to go guys. Thank you. Thanks for everything. I can't do it without you guys. And hopefully, you know, we can keep this going. But do you see what I mean about the colors balancing? Do you remember when I first did this and I put the hot pink on the tentacle and it stood out like, bah, but now it it's balanced a bit more. So it doesn't stand out. It's, it's a little more um, pleasing, I think, or balanced. And that is a good thing to try for. So that's what I did. Yeah, for sure. Nancy says, thanks, Sue. I really enjoyed today. Nancy, I'll be talking to you about the Hoopmaster um, and we'll look for Cindy King's um, uh, video too. And I should probably do one because if you're doing shirts, that's what you need for sure. Oh, and Karina, I will be talking to you too because Jack Septicai, that's why. <laughs> so... Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you like this video and thank you for liking this video. It's awesome. Saturday fun. You guys have a great weekend. It's a long weekend here. I don't know about if it is in the States, but Monday's off. So I'll let you guys know what I'm doing and finish this. 
happy stitching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone!